can't accept this quick getaway, Gribble. You've done. Thank you. He delivered. Bye, how you go. Oh, Gribble, you're going to have to get Right, on your marks. Away. Oh, come along, Damon. What are the magic words? Dick Turpins for quick getaways. That's right. Now, on your marks. Get set. And go. Come on, time for that later. Aren't they brilliant? Everything's brilliant. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, I'd like to speak to uh, Detective Inspector Ryan, please. Uh, yes, it is very important. I see. I see. Well, I'll just have to film back in five minutes then, won't I? Have some of our own, some on, eh? Yeah, but not like them. Never seen fireworks like that in my life. Oh, must be a little bit. Oh, you think so, do you? He was born here, you know. Who? Guy Fawkes, York's most famous son. Born here, 1570. Oh, why? Now do you know that? I just do. Maybe your brains are catching. Ha, ha. Hey. Shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't underestimate people. I'm a bit of an intellectual, actually. Maybe you should go to the interview instead of me. Yeah, I would do. Only I've got a date with about a million quarter pounders. <laughs> Wish I did. Thought you ate junk food? Yeah. I just meant. What? Oh, you're not worried, are you? Right, uh, yeah. Why? You've done all the work in that. It's not that. It's just. Well, he knows I applied to York. And he probably knows about the open day. What if he's there? He won't be. How do you know? Because he thinks we're in Margate, don't he? Mm, I hope so, yeah. Right. What are you doing? Martin. Just finishing me burger, that's all. It's lovely. Mm. Yes, I know this is Liverpool, and I realise this is a matter for Kent, but surely... Well, can I have his home number? Look, my daughter's missing. She could be anywhere. Right. Right. Right, okay. The message is, I got another card from Margate today, and I want to know what he intends doing about it. Fine. Well, in that case, could you also remind him that while he goes through the proper channels, she could be in danger. She's a very sick girl, you know. God knows where she could be sleeping. Damon. Go to sleep. Good ear, isn't it? Girls asleep. You sound like me dad. You know if I don't get into university and all that, 
We'd still be happy, wouldn't we? Living like this, just the two of us. Hmm. Might be a bit of a squash when the fellow owns the boat gets back, though. If you know what I mean. You will get in, so stop worrying. I'm not worrying. It's not even a proper interview tomorrow. It's just an open day so that you can see if you like it. There's nothing to worry about. So go to sleep. I just wish there was somewhere to have a bath, that's all. Good night. The case if it did get in there, wouldn't it? I'd get a good job, and you'd have saved up enough money for your painting and decorating business. We could do what we liked. Good night, John boy. Drop dead, Mary Ellen. Ha 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 ha! Your money or your life? Oh, my life, please. I'm saving up. <laughs> Oh, hey, she's dead impressive with all that Guy Fawkes stuff, you know. Was she? Well, he was a dead impressive bloke, Guy Fawkes, you know. Where did you learn all that from? Are you surprised what I know? She goes to university, you know, Debbie. Is she? Which one? This one, York. Oh, brilliant. I went there myself, actually. Who oh, are you? I do, yeah. Read philosophy. Letters Fitzgerald, B.A. Ask anyone. Then what are you doing in a job like this? You need to be very philosophical in a job like this. Just take it from me. York University's where she'll be. No, no, it's not an interview. It's an open day. An open day. No, an... Oh, look, look, what's it matter what it is? She'll be there. I kid you not. He's not even heard of her. I mean, the man is running the Ents, and he's not even heard of Anita Bruckner. I tell you, this university has finally got the Philistine it deserves. It'll be black lesbian beat poets and steel bands from here on in. Still... I dare say the new intake won't mind. Dear God, they get worse every year. It was bad enough when it was Duran Duran. But now it's the Beastie Boys and Samantha Fox. Margate. The lying little... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, you left these here last night. Oh, yeah. yeah. Never made. Oh, right. That explains it then. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it's like. Yeah. Some lads had to come back and jet others. It's, uh, Margate. Margate. Oh, yeah. It's up there. Got to talk to you. Oh, no, this is daft. This is why we're here, isn't it? 
Damon, I just can't go. I don't know what we were thinking of. What are you talking about? <sighs> Look, it's an open day. There's probably going to be a coachload of girls from our school there for a start. So what? So they'll know where we are. No, they won't. Tell them you're living in Margate and you've just come over for the day. Same as them. Yeah, but... But what? Oh, Damon, look. I haven't got a proper address. I haven't sorted out my A-level course. I haven't got a clue. They might have a different examinations for around here or anything. So you have only just thought of all this now. It's been on my mind for ages. I mean, when they start asking me questions, how am I going to sound? I've run away from home and now I'm playing house with my boyfriend on someone's boat. Playing house? Is that what you think we're doing? No. It's just, we've got to get ourselves sorted out. And I thought, maybe if I took a year off while we found ourselves a flat and some money and that. Debbie, what's the matter, really? I've just told you, I don't think we're ready. Look, it's an open day. They're not going to be asking any questions. You're asking the questions. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, but... Well, I thought it was. So if you're really serious about this and you want to get on a course, you've got to get yourself down there. That's what it's for, isn't it? Advice, isn't it? Yeah, but I just don't well, think... if you're not serious about it, then you think you should run off home to Daddy. Because until you're ready, you shouldn't be here. Well, what if he's there? He won't be. Well, what if he is? Come, Ed. Where to? Just come, Ed. You can't phone him. Of course I can. Anyway, I'm going to hang up as soon as he answers, aren't I? And if he's down there, he can't be up here. But he'll know. No, he won't. Anyway, what if he does? <laughs> Debbie? Debbie? You're all right now? Yeah, thanks. Right, come on. Get lost and good luck. You're not off good to me, you know, Damon. Well, yeah, I know. You're off. I know. Debbie? Only me. Oh. What's this loophead doing here? We're here to make sure you don't start beating our sister up again. Aren't we, Lonnie? Sure are, Tom. <laughs> you, you nearly killed the life out of me. Da -da 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 -da. And all because the lady loves. And what's that supposed to be? I thought I'd nick you some flowers. I got it was November. Look at this lot now. Everyone's looking at me. I think it's me they're looking at, really. Damon, you showed me up. Oh, I see. Embarrassed to be with me, eh? Just because it's just a bit different. You look like a kiss of grass. There's a thought. <gasps> Way. I see. I suppose this means you won't be taking me tweak with you either. Dead right. I thought not. Grab that. That's why. I bought you these. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, well, don't get too excited, will you? I mean, it's only the first time I've ever bought chocolates for anyone. They're really nice. It's just... Well, I'm all right now, aren't I? You shouldn't have spent the money. It's only an open day. Well, I'd better get going anyway. No, wait, hang on. I'm just embarrassing you. Oh, don't be daft. All right, then. Do you give us a chocolate? No. Wait till you're invited to a university open day. No one. But no one. Says no to the mashed muncher. Come on. Yeah, you have one? No, thanks. Come here. I just bought them for you. No, I said no. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. So sweet. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just... Well, I just brushed my teeth at night and I want my mouth to feel nice. Yeah, you do. No one's ever bought the chocolate before. You did the right thing, come with me then, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Here you go. Sure. Helping us out. What? Just now. You let me go out and see her. She was a bit nervous, you see. And she's all right now, then? Yes. I just talked around, you know. Still loves you, then? Of course. Can't get enough of me. Huh? Good. I'm glad. So am I. Do you know what? What? If that being for you, we'd be back where we started now. <laughs> How about that? I'm telling you. You got me this job. 
And the key for that fella's boat? Hey, shut up about it. Tell me all about Guy Fawkes. Oh, well, then, there you go. But tell me, Damon, you take these apparently spontaneous acts of what seems to be altruism as evidence of mankind's innate virtue? Or is it something darker? You're taking the piss. Let me ask it myself. Do you think she's too brainy for me? Damon, that doesn't even come into it. Take it from me as a qualified philosopher. The most important thing is that two people really love one another and they both have enough sense to see that nothing else matters. I want us again, you know. Probably more than she does. I'm just worried that she'll change and I'll lose it. Don't worry. University's no different from anywhere else, you know. She'd probably be disappointed in it. It's like a different world, isn't it? Like something off Star Trek. What are you doing here, Lettuce? Well, what would you do if you had a philosophy degree? Be a philosopher? Well, that's where you and me are different, obviously. Because most people with philosophy degrees become accountants. Honest? Yeah. I wanted to be a philosopher there, yeah. So did you end up in a burger bar? Hmm. Well, Wittgenstein, he was a furniture restorer or something, and he was a dead ace philosopher. Yeah, but a burger bar. Well, what better place? I mean, second law of thermodynamics. Slowly but surely, everything that is, is turning into hamburgers. There you go. Well, what's up? Oh, nothing. I'm just worried that sooner or later, I'm not going to understand the word she says. Well, don't worry about it. The only reason you don't understand what I'm saying is because I don't want you to. Damon, look. What? See that guy get into that car? Yeah, what about him? The bloke whose boat you're squatting on. You're joking. I'm not, honest to God. You better get gone now, quick. Save the day again. Listen, don't forget to come back, will you? <laughs> well, I'm hoping to go to Cambridge, actually. But this is very nice. Anything you want. Yeah, no, excuse, excuse, excuse me. Hi. I'm Nick, uh, third year medic and welcoming committee hack. Uh, look, just tell me to piss off if you want to, but uh, if there is anything I... Oh, dear. And in here's the bathroom. We, uh, we call it a bathroom. Oh, look, somebody's left their toy boat. I'm sure a lot here at York. Right then, laundrette next. Where's the university, please? Okay. What? All that?
fridge. You can't leave a man with no fridge. I'd have thought you'd have had more on your mind. Your daughter could be lying dead somewhere. I suppose it's your deep maternal instincts that are driving you to loot my house, is it? Well, I wish to God I took her with me. Oh, so do I. You haven't heard anything, then? No. Have you? No. Look, I would have told you if I had. Thanks. I won't be a minute. Sorry. You forgot your bananas. Actually, I quite fancy a banana myself. I'll swap you for a piece of quiche. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie. Oh, what a crap name. Mine's Isabella. Good, eh? Sounds dead doomed, doesn't it? Mm. It's my seventh open day. Seventh? Oh, ah, they've got universities round here like other places. They've got burger bars. Oh, Leeds, Bradford, this place. Well, what do you do for? Oh, I don't know. Something about a free feed, isn't there? Mm. Hey, you know, when I saw you, I thought, Miss Prim. And when I saw you lifting that food and sneaking that bath, I thought, hello, so much. <laughs> We've all got you all wrong, I know. I thought you were a really student here, you know. Me? Hmm? Maybe even a professor. Dress like this? Well, you can dress like you like once you're in, can't you? But once you're trying to get in, you've got to worry. Mm. It's going to be brilliant. No one telling us what to do or what to wear. Oh, I've got that already. I don't live at home. I live with my man. Oh, uh, so do I, I suppose. Well, there you are, then. We are twin souls. Yeah? Yeah, I suppose we are. <laughs> When I think of the kind of people I might have driven her to mix with. She's got more sense than to get involved with the wrong sort. Has she do? I mean, she's hardly done anything. She's only ever been to about three parties in her whole life. Oh, that's my fault too, is it? No. It's both our faults. I keep finding myself thinking, I hope Damon's still with her. He's the kind of lad you can trust. And then I think, well, why didn't I say so at the time? Do you think she's told him? I don't see why not. She told him everything else. Well, what about her bag? Did she take that with her? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's something, anyway. Now, watch this. She's a wild one, you know. <laughs> lives with a man and steals <laughs> bananas. <laughs> My brother lives with his girlfriend in Cambridge. Kirk's with the service sector. Oh. I met him at a party. It was sex at first sight. <laughs> really? I met Damon at a party. Well, there you are, then. We are twin souls. Could be. Not identical twins, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best out of three, best out of three. That's what I'm going to do at uni. Computers. I'm trying to go to Cambridge. They don't do computers there. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I can't believe there's so many different societies. Amazing. But this is what it's all about, really, isn't it? This is what my brother says. <laughs> oh, they're all like this. They've got a very fancy club at Bradford. <laughs> In fact, I was thinking of going to Bradford. That's where Kurt works. The drama society? Oh, I'll be there. I'm thinking of doing drama, actually. <laughs> oh, there's a gliding sock. I've just got to join that. That'll be brilliant. Well, that is why I don't get in at Cambridge, of course. Mm -hmm. No thanks. Look, there's a sailing club. Me and Damon live on a boat, you know. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll be joining the math stuff, obviously, <laughs> and the computer stuff. Oh, and how could you miss it? The old time dancing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the artificial intelligence stuff. <laughs> so the friendly stuff. The film stuff. The lift stuff. The this stuff. The fem stuff. Boss stuff. Stuff stuff. Stuff stuff. Hey! What do you think the Monday Club is? <laughs> oh, my brother's president of the Monday Club. In Cambridge, though, not here. <sighs> Debbie! Oh, yeah. I left home a while ago. I live on a boat now on the river with my boyfriend. 
Do you know that bridge by the station? We're just down there. Dead room, aren't you? So I don't think I'll be staying in the halls of residence anyway. What about your A-levels? Oh, well, we've only just moved here, so I'll probably sort something else at the tech. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. What do you do, Isabella? Oh, me? I'm a papa dump packer. Why? I mean, what A-levels are you doing? A-levels? I do them in my sleep. be all right, you know. Hope so. Right. That's enough. What have we done now? You're not taking the tea set. Of course we are. It was my Auntie Kitty. She gave it to me. Yeah, when you were married to me. You were a relation then. She wouldn't give anything like that to a stranger. Maybe it'd be better for all concerned if we left the teapot till later. Seeing as they're all here, why don't we take the opportunity to have a little chat about Debbie? Well, all he's bothered about is his property. He's not done one blind thing about finding that girl. Well, these things are best left to the professionals, really, aren't they? I gave the police all the information I could. Yeah, and a fat lot they care. Look, millions of runaways go missing every year and hardly any of them get found. Well, in my experience, the police do a very thorough job. like that, you see. We could just slip our moorings and no one would know where we'd end up. He's not an intellectual. Really? What does he do? Oh, he's in selling, actually. Really? What's going on? He's a peculiar man. Oh, my God. Get up! Back. I'm never going to live this down. You won't have to live it down. We're not staying. What are you talking about? The boat. The fella came back. I've just seen it sailing off. You're joking. Oh, are yeah. This is my idea of a laugh to walk around the place just like this. We can't just drive off just like that. He already has. Well, we've got to stop him. Debbie, it is his boat. All our stuff's on it. Oh, I know. All my clothes are on it. I don't normally dress like this. Well, we've got to get after him. He can't be far. We'll get it back. Debbie. Don't be soft. Everything we had on that boat, all the stuff with our names on it, they'll have handed it in by now already. We've got to get out of here, and I mean right out. I've already seen the busies over there, and sooner or later you're dead. Oh, stop me, Dad. I didn't leave home so that he could keep on messing me up. I've got to get my gear back. Debbie, you're not talking sense. No, Debbie's not like that. She's got more sense. When she gets this thing out of her system, He'll be back. Me and Lonnie, I'd just like to say how impressed we are with the way you're dealing with all this. We don't condone what you've done, of course. But we do realise that families can be a bit awkward at times. So we say nothing just now. Do it again, like. I'm going to kill you. I don't know how he can sit there and say it. Millions of kids every year and hardly any of them get found. Well, he is right. I mean, she is a sensible girl. She'll be back. That's if she's still alive. Well, I wouldn't worry on that score. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? She's a diabetic, you know. Yeah, I know. But it's never bothered her in the past, has it? I mean, she's bonny enough. All right. How serious is it? She has to take injections every day. She's supposed to be very careful. She's supposed to take a urine sample three times a day. For God's sakes. How can she be doing that if she's roaming around the country with him? So what might happen to her? She'll be all right for a while. But she could end up in a coma. Does the boyfriend know? No, nah, of course he doesn't. He made her ashamed of it. He made her feel like it was some kind of deformity. I did not. I wanted her to be happy. Oh. Yeah, I wanted her to get on 
We could cope, we were coping really well as a baby. You were coping really well. You were coping really well. You were having a ball. You left. It gave you just the excuse you needed, didn't it? You can't stay out after 10.30 day because you know because what happened. Because if she didn't keep herself in check, she could have been in danger. Well, she didn't keep herself in check, did she? You kept her in check. You picked her food. You decided when she could have a snack and when she couldn't. She never had any say in it. <laughs> it must have felt well like it was your disease, not hers. And you know what worries me? Now that she's run away from you, maybe she thinks she can run away from the disease. No, she's not like that. Oh, God. Got more sense. If you just tell me what it is you've left, I might be able to go and find it. He's got to be on the river somewhere, but I'm not having you going down there on your own. The bounce have a description of you. Take that stupid mask off, eh, Damon? What is it? What have you left? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing I really need anyway. Come on, Buster. Let's hit the road. Van. What are they going to do? Take the central oh, meeting. Do you want your wallpaper back? There's no point in talking to you when you're like this. I'm not like anything, it's you! It upsets me to see our bridges upset like this, Lonnie. Give me brain, eh? It's about time we took the matter in hand and came up with some sort of resolution. I think we should kick his head in. Then we'd only be dealing with the symptoms. No, we've got to address ourselves to the root cause. Yeah, it is. Being a drunk, oh, that's the root cause. No, no, the root cause is Debbie. You see, they both feel that they failed as parents. And they're both blaming one another, especially with her being sick. I think they're just upset about her. Yeah, well, she's just as bad as them. I mean, all she needs is somebody who's not scared to knock a bit of sense into her. Come here. Right. Come on, out. What? What is it? What do you want? This is my I'm house! Not finished yet. Sit I'm down. not finished with you, you Shut up, will you? Sit. We've just got a few propositions to put to you as follows. Hey, would you stop arguing? It's giving me jip. B. We're going to keep the furniture until Debbie is found. And C. We're going to find her. Tom, oh, that's brilliant. Lonnie, shut up. Look, this is ridiculous. And how are you going to find her? Look, we're going to borrow our Billy's Cortina, aren't we? God, she could be anywhere. Look, A, she's family. B, she's sick. And C, I've only got a fortnight's leave. And looking for Debbie beats refereeing for you two. <laughs> We don't want an experience, we want a lift. Well, what's the matter with you? You're not taking this seriously. Who's going to pick us up with me looking like this? Someone's bound to. Oh, aye, someone's bound to. Someone who's looking for us, like the pigs or some mad axeman. Oh, aye, Damon. There's some funny people about Debbie. I mean, look at the state of that. <laughs> look at the state of it. <laughs> Is this your man? Yeah. The one who's in selling? Yeah. And is this your man? Yeah. The one who's in the service sector? Yeah. He's good though, isn't he? <laughs> well, come on, Jenny, introduce us. Jenny? Uh, this is my friend Debbie, and this is a man. Damon. And this is Kirk, and I'm Jenny. Oh, yeah. Well, no. Any friend of Jenny's, as they say. Can we offer you a lift anywhere? Oh, no, no, you're okay. You're sure? will you any minute. Yeah. Come on. Thanks all the same. Um. Right. Maps. Cash. Mars bars. And we booked on diabetes. Right then, let's go. Right. 
Your uncle? Where are we going? Well, I thought he said York. See, but I thought he said Margate. Right then. Margate it is. Via York. Tom. You're brilliant. Oh, I can't believe it. Fancy having your house next. Well, you really are doing lovers, aren't you? Yeah, it's beginning to look that way. Well, that's why I was thinking. You knew your big part. Put those words back in my mouth. Why, I'll be brilliant. You can show me how to do all that computer stuff. Uh, Jenny tends to exaggerate the size of the house. Yeah, well, if it's awkward, we were going to sort something out ourselves, really. But it's just I've got these people coming round tonight. It's our 2018 night. Hey, Tom. I was thinking. Well, what if she's lost her memory in that? It doesn't say anything in here about losing your memory. Anyway, she's with this lad, isn't she? You'll remember who she is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, what are we going to do about him? Well, now, he said we are going to kick him. Yes! Damon's in selling. Yeah. Service sector. Service is slot machines, you know, empty them out and things like that. I install and maintain ledger software, actually. Video games to you. I love video games. Then when he gets home, he plays videos. Fascinating man. I write video games in my spare time. That's why it's a bit awkward tonight. My friends are coming over. We're debugging a new package. And I'm doing the finger buffet. Debug is my big thing. Maybe we could help you. I don't think so. Hey, you! She's brilliant! Jenny's a poppadom packer, so she's a great judge of these things. She really pack poppadoms? Oh, well, I speak a little else in Bradford. But doesn't it interfere with your A-levels? A-levels? What do you sell, Damon? Beggars. <laughs> Food. That's the main thing. So long as they watch what they eat, they're all right, basically. No sweets. No junk food. Oh, I love burgers. They're so disposable. And with them being like total crap and that, they subvert the whole meaning of eating. Brilliant. I mean, the way I see it, the whole planet's doomed anyway. There's no point thinking about tomorrow. And a burger like is total crap. It doesn't help you live or anything like that. And that's dead good. Because it's dead honest. Shut up about Vegas, that's all. Things like car sickness and that, that can really get to them. The main thing is they've got to go easy on themselves. No late nights, no long journeys. Avoid stress. Now, stress is the real killer. One dose of stress, it's curtains. I'm sorry, it's just suddenly started feeling all funny. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, I love it here. Jenny! Jenny! Oh, God's sake. I just don't believe this. Jenny! Do you realise what the time is? Listen, Kirk! How many times have I told you not to go on about time? When I'm contemplating eternity. You promise, Kirk! I'm upset! I want five minutes to think on the ruin. All right? Oh. Yeah, let's go, quick. Oh. Let's get off while we've got a chance. I don't want to. You what? That's why we stopped, isn't it? We stopped because I feel sick. Oh, we've got to ditch them. She's a nutty. I like her, actually. And anyway, we need her. You don't even know where we are. Yeah, I do. Where? Leeds. Bradford. Oh, we've got to go. Why? Because you say so. Because we're trying to keep a low profile, that's why. <gasps> What's so funny? Oh, for God's sake, Damon, how can we keep a low profile with you dressed like that? Oh, well, I'm just stupid, yeah, well, you aren't I? stupid, like... Moods. They get moods. And if they don't tell their partner why they're getting moody, then this puts stress on the relationship. Stress again, you see. You've always got to watch for stress. Damon, just grow up, hey. Me? Grow up? Look at yourself. 
You're acting like some kid that just bumped off school. Hey, I left home because we were going to get something done. I was going to get a crappy little job and put me up switch money towards me painting and decorating. And you, you were going to go to university and there was going to be all roses around the door. Now all of a sudden, you seem quite happy to hang around with a bunch of weirdos. What's up? Money. I think I've left me savings book at the university. <sighs> That's your fault. You panicked. Now look what you've done. What? What was I supposed to do? Look, I thought we left Liverpool so we could stop looking over our shoulder. I've stopped. Now you've started. Oh, but if he finds us... What? What if he finds us? I could lose you. No, you couldn't. I've got to get back to the car. You do realise I haven't done my avocado dips yet, don't you? Yes. Actually, Lonnie, this business about kicking his head in. Yeah. It says here you're not supposed to upset them emotionally and that. No. Juvenile diabetics. Yeah, well, we're not going to beat that up, are we? No, but it might upset her, mightn't it? Beating a bloke up and that. It says here that if they get overwrought, they're in grave danger of ketosis. Oh, yeah. What's ketosis, then? Well, they end up in a coma. What, just by being upset? Just by being upset. Are you OK? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, I've got to get to a chemist and I don't want Damon to know. Are you sure you're all right? I will be if you can get me to a chemist. But it's, it's late. There should be a chemist round here. You'll be okay. Come on. She'll be okay. Yeah. She'll be okay. Me and Jenny are going shopping. We thought it would be best if you went home with care. You are! Listen, we'll only be gone half an hour. But they'll be here in an hour. Look, I'll bring something back with me. And how are you going to get home? There are such things as buses. But they'll be here in an hour. Go play with your dicks. Debbie, you nothing but more. Don't you dare leave me on my own with him. Why not? You're a big lad. What I mean is, I can't leave you on your own in a strange town. She's got to go somewhere. Oh, just give it a rest, AJ. Do it. Okay. Debbie. Women, eh? Sorry about the parrot. I mean, normally I'd let you sleep in the den, but I'm doing it up. Oh. I think Debbie left this bag. Oh, so. Thanks. Okay.
But I thought we were going to ask all kinds of questions and not take no for an answer. Well, I feel a bit funny about it now, don't I? I mean, they might think I'm some sort of pervert or something. She looks dead young in this photo, you know. Okay, there we are. Thank you. Why don't you ask her? Oh, yeah, well, I would. But I feel a bit daft. I mean, you can't just drive into a city and ask the first person you meet. Be discreet. All right, now, listen, love, I'm not some kind of pervert or nothing, but I'm not going to take no for an answer on this one, OK? And that depends on the question. Have you seen this girl? Yes. Are you kidding? No, not at all. I saw her this morning. Hey, what about that? I told him first one I asked. I must be some kind of natural or something. It's good if she knows where she's gone. She was with a scouse lad, wasn't she? Good looking. It's that bastard. Yeah, yeah, they left this morning. Uh, said they were going to Gretna Green. Bonnie, come on. Come on. Come on, I'm coming, Tom. You? Yeah, you. Right, that's it. What's going on? You've got to tell me. I've got to do anything for you. What you've done to us. What a mess we're in. Everything was fine and then you... You all like me dad, you. You just like him. You think you know everything and the only thing you really know is how to mess things up. I can't tell you, Damon. Don't be daft. You can tell me anything. It's like you said. Or we need each other. God, I hope you're right. Debbie! We've got to talk. You've got to talk to me. 